subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Sinisteria Alpha 18. As you guys can see we are starting a new game. Uh, the game name is going to be Do Over. We're going to go for Darkness Falls Small 4. Now I wanted to go for a medium map but apparently the smaller the map the less lag there is. So I'm going to try that out. And then remember we barely got done with one town and that wasn't a huge map so even with a small map we're going to stick to one town basically and then we're going to see if we can clear out that whole map now as you guys can see server visibility i'm just uh going for not listed at the moment later perhaps i'll let people join but then i'm, I'm just waiting on my um fiber to get installed it's already installed i'm just waiting for the box in between the router and the box from outside so the ont router i'm looking uh, waiting for so for basic uh adventure apparently according to this adventure not just a new recruit anymore usually nomad was the middle but now, uh, because Darkness Falls is so difficult, it's this. So I think I'm just going to go for old kind of default. And then I actually want to go for longer days because it gives you longer time to loot and prepare. And if I go in-game day mining, then at least I'll only be busy that one day. The problem is, if I do more than one video a day, that's going to take like 14 videos to get to the first ward. So I'm going to leave that 60 minutes for now, unfortunately. Blood Moon 7 days range it's going to be every single day it's not random by some amount morning warning um day speed walk night speed jog feral speed run and blood moon run guys as you guys are aware even though it's just run they wreck your base so as soon as we have a proper base that can withstand zombies we'll go for nightmare speed <laughs> and then we're going to test that out a little bit okay then also over here we have loot respawn despawned oh uh, despawned yeah it's technically it's disabled uh, drop on death backpack and blood moon count 64 now i know i can lower this guys but uh, i need a challenge i want the challenge let's go for let's go for 32 so it's half what we usually go and remember that first horde is going to be massive anyways so we're going to go for 32 and after the day 49 horde we'll double it by day 49 we should have a proper base like we did with the previous series so let's hope for the best. Mark airdrops on, and then multiplayer, there's no need to show that one. And start. Hopefully this actually goes a lot faster. Okay, so this is actually quite a cool place to start. We're right on the border of the snow and forest over here. Nice. Okay, guys, I am torn between where we need to start uh, with what class. Um, it's either laborer, so we can get our forges and stuff up, or it's mechanic, so we can get our turret going as soon as we find a turret. Remember, we need, as soon as possible, we need the help of a turret. But I just need to get used to this view a little bit. I set the uh, view distance to 100%. So it just kind of feels like I'm super tall at the moment. Everything's super low. Might just be in my imagination, but who knows. Okay, so. We're going to do this. Uh, open this up. And then we're going to place this down. Wait, what? Contained a tattered map. Looking at it, compared landmarks, you can see... Notice something marked with an X. White River. Okay, that's a settlement. Nice. Wait, what's this? Is this two? Oh, yes, it's two classes. I almost forgot you get two classes. Okay, so we're going to grab that. This we're going to equip. So we get more slots over here. We do this. And land claim we can put away for now. Okay, so which way is the trader? Please tell me it's... Yes, nice. It's not in the snow. Because the snow is just a little bit too cold for us. Especially when our protection wears off. Okay, so guys, I wanted to do this episode way sooner, but I'm still sick. I don't know how many of you can hear from my voice. It's just, it's a mess. <laughs> and also, I wanted to record this episode yesterday, but I forgot that you have to load the whole mod in. Remember, I start everyth started everything over. So just before recording just now, I had to make sure all my settings took. So I hope all the sound, everything is perfect and there's nothing wrong with it. Because, yeah, like I said, I, I, I reset my old PC just to make sure we don't get too much stutter this time around. I reinstalled 7S Die. It's now 18.3, as you guys see in the top right. And I reinstalled Darkness Falls as well. So hopefully with all of this stuff... Ooh, I'm glad they're not aggressive from the start. Hopefully with all of this, uh, we are good enough. We are set. Okay, let's just do this. We're going to get this tree quickly. Now, I think... Let's just quickly see which are the skills again. Which are the classes. Okay, so we're going to go for Laborer. That gives us Advanced Engineering, Hammer and Forge. Okay, and then Mechanic. Turret Syndrome, uh, Mode of Transportation, Salvage Operations. This is Charismatic Nature. This gives me better 
deals from the trade. I wonder if I shouldn't go for this one first. Scavenger. It's better loot and then also laborer. So I think for now I'm going to get to these classes. Uh, scavenger and uh, laborer. That way we know we are set for now. So recipes. Uh, scavenger. There you go. And laborer. Laborer, laborer, laborer. There you go. This way we know. Okay, laborer. We can get our forge and stuff done early. In case we don't find a forge. I should have actually waited until the trader. And then scavenger over here is now because of our loot. Nice. Next up is mechanic. That's definitely the one we're going for next. But I should probably just drop this quickly. I don't know if that's going to give me... You know what? Where are those? Okay, I haven't done anything of yet. Gather wood, soil, and stone. This one is... Craft a stone axe. So I need sharp rocks. There's slight music playing in the background, guys. So let me know. What do you guys think? Should I take it off? Should I keep it in? Just so it's not too boring. Okay. So this is more of a upgrade tool and weapon. I can quickly wear all of this. And let's get going. Okay, now I should really actually keep this on my belt. In case something happens to me, I can just drop it down quickly and then hopefully spawn from there. Now, obviously, if the animal kills me by my bedroll, I'm going to have to spawn away from bedroll. But it's just so we are settled or covered should we need to be safe. I might just take this music off, guys. It's playing in the left eardrum, then right. It's almost like there's zombies behind me or something. It's actually rather annoying. You never know if a zombie's behind you or if it's just the music playing. Okay, so on the way there, let's keep this up. I think on the way there, we're going to pick up as many of these stones as we can and also see if we can loot more bird's nests. I think it might be my screen resolution that's a little bit off now. Since I reset my PC, something's been off. That's why the text and everything on screen looks so small. But it might just be my, ma uh, my imagination. Okay, so we need to get ourselves either a stone sledgehammer or a spear or something so we can fight whatever we run into. And then also, remember guys, if you break these down, sometimes you have a chance of getting some honey. And we're definitely going to need some honey should we get infected early on. I'm going to try and clear my throat and nose as much as possible. At least I'm doing pushy talk, so you guys aren't going to hear the disgusting noises. But I'm going to try that as much as possible so you, don't, you guys don't have to worry about... I know when you hear someone's throat close uh, while they're talking, it closes your throat as well. Okay, let's see. Do I have a sledge? What do you need for sledge? Uh, nope. Stones. Ah, yes. Stone sledge hammer. We're going to craft this for now. And then as soon as we get to the trade, we're going to look into our skill points a little bit more. I don't think we have any skill points at the moment. Okay, we have two. Uh, we should probably uh, focus on stamina and survival, right? Let's see, quicker crafting, tool crafting. But then again, this uh, these are tools. Better barter. It might be a waste, but I'm going for this. Because if, uh, if we get stuff done and we want to buy stuff from the trade, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So we're going to go for that, and we're going to go for... We don't have actually have any real, uh, real skills to invest in at the moment since we just started. But let's see if we have anything of the pack here. Okay, just so we can carry more stuff while we go to the trader. And that is going to go right here. Thank you. So I should technically also pick up all the plants I come across. Not, uh, luckily, we are close to the snow. Uh, as you guys know, we need these snowberries to be able to make blue dye later on. So when we need more class quests, or uh, more classes, all we need to do is come to the snow over here and pick some more snowberries. Okay, so I should... No, wait, I'm going to leave these plants for now. It might bite me later, but there should be plants at the trader as well. So let's go there. Hopefully there are no... Animals of here. So technically, see skills, quests, uh, scavenger, duke's tokens, gather. This one is just small stones. This is a lot for labor class. But we're also going to get quests like upgrade wood, make wood, and stuff. Um, you know what? Since we can, let's quickly make ourselves a primitive bow. And what do we need? Oh, we need a sharp stone so we can make ourselves some arrows. So we're just going to make 20 of those. And then we're going to equip this. So just so if we want to attack something from afar, we can. We're not limited. And also we need sticks, the same amount. Unfortunately, we don't have 20 feathers, but at least now we'll be able to pick up more as we go. Stone arrows. And also, let's see if we can make the stone spear as well. Okay. So I w actually want to kill that stag over there, but with the difficulty set to Nomad, that's also going to be too tough for the primitive bow. Especially level 1 quality, it's not going to be enough to kill that thing. Now we just need to watch out so we don't run into any wolves early on. 
I want to see how long I can actually go without dying, which is going to be a little bit tough. But you never know until you try. Okay, so let's keep on going. I just need to keep my eyes in this open for the sounds of wolves. See, there's a wolf right there. It's in between me and the town. And there's a zombie to the right over here. Let's just clear that out. Okay, no, that's not a zombie. That's a survivor. Please kill that wolf for me. I'll kill this one over here. You'll kill the wolf. Deal? Okay, sledgehammer action. Nice. That is dead, right? Why didn't I see her health bar? Did they uh, did kinds take that off? That's gonna make it a little bit tougher for us to know when zombies are dead. Okay, so we just need to watch out we don't run into too many zombies early on. And we do wanna try and kill everyone we can Oh, there's the health bar. So I killed that one so fast it didn't show the health bar. And one more shot, one more shot. Oh, out of stamina. One more, come on, come on, come on, come on. At least he's not raging. That sucks when they start to rage like that. Come on, he's gonna get mad to you. Okay, so now we just need to find ourselves a proper base. Watch out for more wolves. Is this, what's this? This looks like a town we, uh, we're passing right here. And the trader is where? So I don't want to get too far away from our objective. That's a fat zombie, it's gonna take forever to kill, so let's just keep going. Okay, I need to actually put, let's do this. Uh, stone axe gonna stay there, we're gonna put this one away for now. We're gonna put the stone spear, then the arrow, bedroll over there. No, 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 not there. Bedroll stays on our belt, just in case we need to drop it. Okay, this way around we should be able to get stuff done. I don't want to face too many zombies early on, I want to get to the trader first and start getting all our quests done. The sooner we can get our quest done, the better. This time, I should be able to survive the first Horde Knight. Especially if, even with wood, I do the defense I did last episode. I just need to be a makeshift one on each side so we can ensure that it gets done. Oh, I forgot that you can't throw with this one anymore. In vanilla, you're able to actually throw the stone axe, or stone spear. And in this, you're only able to lunge it at the zombies as hard as you can. Okay, another one over here. Let's get my stamina back. Ooh, there's two zombies over here. I need to watch out that one of them isn't random feral. Some of these guys run uh, nightmare speed just randomly. Let's probably grab my stone axe. Even with a left swing, it should do nice damage while it's bleeding. Thank you. Okay, let's go to that trader quickly. The music playing is actually kind of ominous. I usually found this in Alpha 15's Hub City, uh, where they play creepy music. That was actually very awesome. Hearing that creepy music all around you all the time. Okay, you sounded way faster than you really are. So if something attacks us now, at least we are close to the trader. They can help us defend. Ooh, damn, that was damage. I always forget that you can make the stone, uh, the stone sledgehammer, and look how powerful it is. You just need to connect, otherwise you waste all your stamina. Left click, thank you, and give me some loot. The more loot I can actually get early on, the more I can sell at the trader. And we are going to need a ton of loot. Where? Over there. Remember that I couldn't understand. I, it's right next to me, but I can't see it. I heard the gunshots from the trader, but nothing else. Okay, so more stone arrows. I need to make more sharp stones and sticks as soon as possible. I need to check whether all the settings are right, because the, uh, the mouse seems a little bit sensitive. But that, that might just be a window setting, because remember, I reset my windows. It's, it actually sucks. I lost all my bookmarks on Edge. Uh, all my Chrome bookmarks are still there, but my newest ones that were in Edge are just completely gone. Oh, come on. She's bleeding out, but I don't know if I actually get the XP if she just bleeds. I know I did the last shot, but how long does it actually count as yours? Hello, hello, hello. At least we're not getting used to the zombies right off the bat. Those things are huge and fast. The moment they had showed empty, wow. Okay, so we need to, see, we need to remember, uh, loot respawn is off, so technically I should be destroying all of these that I loot. So that I don't accidentally run back to an empty lootable. Where is it? Hello. I was wondering, why are you right there and they're not shooting? Man, okay, this point of view has really messed up. I need to get used to it. It feels like everything is a little bit warped. Like I'm actually looking through the eyes of the character. Uh, well, actually, it's actually a good thing. I mean, you, uh, you get to see the zombies more up close and personal like you're there. But still, that's a creepy thing to do. 
Okay, so there's a tree in here. We can actually also cut down for wood should we need to. This is going to be our temporary base until we can actually get stuff done, guys. Because remember, this is wood. This is definitely not going to last against all the zombies. Okay, so let's start from a corner. We already went that side. We can sell the tire over here. Remember, our first quest for the scavenger, I think, is 500 tokens. So the more things we can sell right now, the better. That might also be able to sell. Sellable. On the one hand, actually, I actually hope these workbenches work. But on the other hand, if, they, if they're broken and they can actually give me loot when I loot them, then we might be able to sell that loot and get that quest done. Come on, come on, come on. What's this? Okay, that's, that's, that's a nice amount. It's not awesome, but it's a nice amount. Okay, so I just need to watch out for the darkness in this game. My gamma is set to, uh, set to 35 like last playthrough, but sometimes it does get a little bit dark for you guys. And there's a wolf right there. Let's see if we can get some meat early on in the game. And right there. So he's going to come charging right at the walls. Hello, he's just standing still for me. Are you dead? Oh, he's still standing still. I shouldn't be complaining. As soon as he's dead, I can go down there and kill these zombies wailing on the walls. Hello. Don't destroy my walls, please. Thank you. And uh, damn, I don't have any shiv or anything yet. Do I have any bones? No, I don't. Okay, so I'll have to use my stone axe for now. And as soon as I get five bones, I think it's five. We need five bones to make a stone... Sh uh, no, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I want to make a bone shiv. But I think you need, like, five bones to be able to make one. I did see some gore lying around on the road of here. And if you chop that up, you can get some bones. So it's a nice fast way to get some. Come on, guard. Do your job. Thank you. We just need to see, uh, see if they drop anything as they get shot. Ah, yeah. Right up here. This is going to give us some bones. Thank you. And you're dead. Okay, so I don't even have to worry about you. The only problem with this trade is there's so many dead spots, dead zones in the, uh, the guard's view. That it's so easy for something to get through. Okay, so I don't know if I should actually hold on to these tires. Or if I should use the tires. Um, if I hold onto them, I can make myself a bicycle as soon as possible. If I sell them, I might be able to get that quest done. Okay, so these are... Ooh! I have a concrete mixer. That is so awesome. Last episode, we struggled getting that. Okay, what is this? Sell price 55. Okay, so we should probably get some jobs as well from the trader and the guard over here. Hopefully, that's going to introduce us to our first close town. And now, where is the guard captain? Not on the toilet, I see. No weapons. Whoa, my mouse is super sensitive. Okay, and guard captain. Hello, hello. Uh, do you have any jobs for me? Let's see. Something very close. If it's a fetch quest, it might just be in town. But, buried supplies, buried supplies, buried supplies. I don't want to do buried supplies yet, guys. Because really we don't have anything that's going to dig past. The man. And we don't have anything that's going to allow us to find treasures quickly. So we're going to dig and dig and dig and search and search and search, not finding any treasures, and it's just going to waste time. Time we could have spent looting and going about. Okay, so, hello, trader. Stop staring, asshole. No, I'll stay if I want to. Okay, so we're going to get through this one quickly because we can loot the stuff at the back. Um, I'm going to have to wait until I have a lockpick to try the safe, though. But at least now we do have a safe we can loot early on. I should have to wait until my scavenging is a little bit higher, my looting ability. Okay, I forgot you can't jump over here. I'm just going to break this out as well. It gives him less protection when zombies break in eventually. But if zombies break in, he's dead anyways. Okay, that's, that's going to help us out a ton. Almost 200 right there. Do we have any lockpicks? I didn't see myself pick any up. Nope. Okay, so let's see if I can get that one quest done. May I see your inventory, please? We're first going to see if we can get the coins. And with the coins, we'll be able to buy resources for the other quest. So, we're going to sell this for now. There are tires lying around everywhere. Hopefully. Uh, this is not sellable. Sell the running shoes. Sell the mod. Ooh, I'm only 30 away. We just need 30 more. What can I sell? I don't really want to sell steel. <laughs> uh, the steel we can use later on. No sell price for this. This is 8... A 26. Okay, so that is very close to 500, and this is 8. Okay, that's All right, give now us that, that we're quest. done doing business, get out of my store! So you can actually play around with a quest like this. This one gave you coins. Now, okay, now I need to boil stuff. That one gave me coins. Now this one, uh, I can actually buy wood, stone, and soil from this guy. 
Let's see if I can buy all of that. Okay, so we're going to go for first secret stash. Let's see what he has for us. August schematic, it's too soon because you can't have... Ooh, 11,000 for a mini bike. Imagine if we've done a qu a quite a few of these trader quests already and we can just buy it off the bat. That's going to come in insanely handy until day 7. Because day 7, it's useless. Okay, so nope, nope, nope. Don't need ammo right now. I might need a little bit of um, arrows and feathers and stuff, but for now it's okay. Stone, we just need 400. Let's buy 370. Ah, oh, damn, I don't have enough. Okay, well, it's worth a try. You know what? Uh, let's see how much I can get. Clay is rather easy to get, but stone... Let's see, let's see, let's see. 300, 250. Might be able to get a little bit more. Okay, and then can I get clay? Let's see. Do I have enough cash left, perhaps? I'm actually able to buy a ton of clay as well. I think wood, however, is going to be a little more expensive, and he doesn't have wood anyways. So we're just going to get clay with the last one again. Remember, clay, you can smell down into your forges, so it's going to come in handy. Okay, and then, uh, let's see. Wait, no, no, it's under quests. I keep forgetting the other buttons over here. Okay, so, we just need wood and like a hundred and something stones. So if I chop down a boulder outside and there's one tree inside, that should technically be enough to give us what we need. But guys, I definitely learned from last series mistakes. This time I'm going to craft myself a medium backpack as soon as possible. And also, I want to get rid of all the trees in the area so we don't have a repeat of the first war we had in the previous tree. As you guys know, that did not play off so well. Okay, um, what happened, for those of you who don't know, is I planted trees on the inside. Uh, I planted trees on the inside of my base, and <laughs> I didn't think it would grow before the horde, but it did. As the horde started, the trees grew, and I couldn't see a thing. So I couldn't defend myself from the base. Okay, how much do I need from this now? I have enough wood, I think. No, still not enough. How many trees do I need to cut? Damn. Okay, so we need bol- I'm just gonna quickly do a little bit of mining off camera guys and I'll catch you guys back. Otherwise it's just gonna be boring as hell. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do for this horde guys is, since this is all wood, we want these guys to survive as long as possible. So I might just make doors on all four sides, leave them open, and then I'm gonna take out- I'm even gonna leave this one open. I'm gonna take out all the stairs leading to these guys. We don't want them getting swamped by zombies. I don't know if they can fall off or not. They look pretty stationary. They don't want to move, yeah? Uh, so hopefully they don't follow the zombies should zombies come in. So there's going to be a hole here. There, then on the other side. And I'm going to litter the rest of the wall with spikes and upgrade to reinforce wood. And then on the inside, I'm going to have stairs going around. So, but okay, then I should actually only have the openings on like two sides, not more. So we're going to have a staircase then going up and they're going to go in a circle trying to get to these guys in the middle. Or on the walls so obviously at the end of that circle they're gonna have to it's gonna have to connect to the guards and hopefully they take care of the zombies before then uh, but they have guns so they should be able to I just need to stand in such a spot that the zombies can't get to me or alternatively I could make the stairs go up here I can stand on top of the roof and then as the zombies try and get to me the guards shoot them I just hope I don't get actually in, uh, accidentally in between a guard and a spray. That's going to suck if they accidentally shoot me instead of on purpose like last time. Ooh, mining armor. That is awesome. That's the best. That was the best reason to wear this, guys. Oh, that's one and two. Cold resist, heat resist. This one is... Wait, this one is two and two. The other one is one and two. Okay, so this we can sell. As many of the things I can sell, I want to sell. And this is exactly the same. It's just a different color. Okay, so I can technically take off the die and then sell the rest. Oh wow, I am so encumbered I can't jump. So let's just quickly do that first. We're going to see, can I wear this? 2 and 9? 5 and 2. Uh, we're in the cold biome, so let's wear the flannel shirt. And then this one we can scrap. The rest we can actually sell. But first off, we're going to take off the die. The, the die we might just need later on. Although orange, we don't really need for anything, right? I'm not going to take a chance. Just now we need the orange die for something. I only know of the dies in for the class quests, but just in case I'm going to keep... Oh, I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, so that is six and three. Oh, I'm already selling. Oh, it was just... Oh, it was the same thing. It was just uh, different colors, right? Okay, so now for the rest of the class hey, quest, buddy. it says... Let's see. This one says... Uh, we have to gather bottled water and charred meat. Oh, we have to cook it. But we need to be in the thing as we cook it. We already looted this, right? Yeah. Um, let's do this on top of the roof. I wonder if we can. Um, on the one hand, I want to try and stand on this thing. 
But in the previous... Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have that jumping ability this time. Um, in the previous one, I accidentally stood on one of the forges and it burnt the hell out of me. Okay, so that's unlocked. We can just do that. I'm going to place our bedroll up here as well. Let's place it right in the middle, more or less. Okay, and then we're going to need a campfire. See, this would have usually been in the beginning. Wait, what do you need for a campfire? Campfire. Why was it not there? Well, oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's under food. Okay, so we're quickly going to place this thing. Uh, let's place it... Yeah. So we don't accidentally step on it. Now, charred meat. We have meat on us. Let's put some wood in there. Thank you. Charred meat too. And it says cook water. But I don't have a cooking pot yet, so I don't think I can. Can I? Oh, you can. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Damn, now I have to stay in this window for two and a half minutes. Otherwise, this doesn't count. You have to be here as it complete, otherwise you don't get uh, the quest. For example, just before that finishes, if I go out of here, it's going to show that I only cooked one, even though I cooked two. Okay, so this is almost done. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gather this and this. Turn this off for now. Um, in the background of here, I'm actually already making myself some frames and cobble. I'm making 200 cobble because I need to make flagstone, and if you just make it on you, that's four cobble per flagstone. But do we have some skill points? Two. Okay, so the reason for this being, we should actually go for stuff like sexual transfers, yes. But we need to go for tool crafting so we can get better tools. And we need to go... Actually, flagstone was actually better. Let's go for quicker crafting, both points. Because that's already a lot... Oh, no, we can't go both points. So we'll go for pack meal. Um, the reason for that is, now I can actually stop this. See, that's 3 minutes 20. Let's put 200 again, again over there. 3 minutes 10. So it's only 10 seconds. But the more you craft, the more that's going to help you. Okay, so let's quickly check this out. We have our scavenger quest over here we need. Wait, scavenger also? Whoa, gather wood, 1,000. We already have the blocks we need upgrades. So I should actually quickly go, uh, go gather the wood. And then as we place the frames, we could, uh, we actually complete both these. See, there's place wood frames 100. Place wood frames 100. So I can do both quests at the exact same time. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the trees in the area so that the traders help defend me. Or the guards help defend me. If you stand close enough, then the, uh, the zombies can't get you. Although, there is a limit to how far these guards can shoot, so you need to be careful of that. So guys, uh, please comment down below, how long do you want these episodes to be? 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour? Uh, the thing is, sometimes I'm aiming for 30 minutes. Sometimes the timer goes off, and then I'm still busy with something, and I keep looting, and the episode ends up being like 40 minutes long. Um, I think 2 or 3 of the episodes in the previous series were actually almost close to 50 episodes. Uh, 50 minutes. 90 cobblestone. Over there, uh, but yeah, just let me know down below. Um, I don't want to make episodes too long and then you guys don't want to watch all of it, or too short and you end up wanting more. Well, it's a good thing to want more, but um, you're gonna get bored if you only see like 20 minutes of gameplay. That's why I cut out so much and skip a ton of stuff because some of these YouTubers you see them they, they don't cut out anything, they just talk for 30 minutes and then they've basically done nothing in game. And I don't want that to be me. I want to actually have show progress after a whole day of looting and scavenging and working my ass off in the game. And let's see how long it does take to break through those three shots. And it actually gives us some stuff as well. But I don't know if that's actually worth it. Okay, so we need 375 more wood. Damn. It's a shame we don't have any more tokens. If we had more tokens, we could just buy wood. Although this one doesn't have any wood by him. Damn it. Um, guys, if you've played on this map, the small Darkness Falls number 4. Oh crap. Oh, damn it. If you've played on this one before, uh, please comment down below, like, um, where can I find more traders? Where can I find, just, just basically military camps, traders, is there a cake or all that? Uh, there should be a cake on the map, but you never know, I might just be super unlucky. So wait, can I make, damn, I left all my bones in the chest I made back there. But yeah, just leave your comments down below with co uh, coordinates and stuff. Um, I could technically also just scavenge and loot around and stuff, but the faster I have all those coordinates, the faster I can actually go check those things out. Especially the military facilities and all those tough, hard, nice things. Wait, what's that? The wood chips flying like that almost made it seem like a wolf was flanking me on to the right of here. 
That would have sucked. Damn. At least there's a nice amount of boulders in the area, so I'll be able to get a ton of iron. There's a ton of these uh, fields over here with plants, um, so I'll get all these plants. There's a ton of trees, obviously. But yeah, the biggest plus for me is the stone. Those small boulders give you iron and stone, and the big ones only stone. So if you need to smell down some, uh, some stone for something, like say for example, iron spikes for the third lord. <laughs> actually, give you ideas. Uh, we can actually do that. Uh, we can just chop these boulders. But I'll need to up my tools and my mining tools a bit. At the moment, they're a little bit too low for me. Where is your mining skill? And what is that located? Perks or classes? I think that's a perk. The sooner I can, I need to get as high a level as possible in mining. Okay, how much wood do I have? Ooh, that's one more tree. Just one more tree and we'll have the class quest. We'll actually have both class quests done. So during the night, I can just place all those frames, upgrade them, and voila. And as you guys know, this stone hammer over here helps you upgrade fast. It's like having a normal hammer, a claw hammer, but just in a stone form. We're going to have a ton of wood to spare because now we didn't have to use any of those to make frames since both classes are on the same quest. I already made the 200 or so frames, so I don't need to make any more. Okay, so, what I'm basically going to do, guys, during the night, I'm going to stack frames on the inside of here, like I did with the reinforced concrete in the first base in the previous series, the first steel of trader we found. I'm going to place wooden frames over here, upgrade them to reinforced. If there's wood left, we're going to try the outside as well. And then we need to go exploring a bit and see if we can get some coin and just buy a ton, uh, ton of resources as soon as possible. I want to surround this whole place with spikes. I don't know if I should only leave this door open or if I should make another hole, perhaps. I just don't want them breaking through the house at the back and getting to the other traders. I need to block off the traders from any access from the zombies because as soon as they get to these traders, my defenses are gone. Okay, so let's quickly check these quests out. So over here it says, gather flagstone block. Oh, that's that's a hundred flagstone. Okay, so I have way too many little cobble then at the moment. I need 200 more. Is that's 50 per 200. And then I can make flagstone behind that. Flagstone. Like, oh, we don't have a working uh, working workbench, right? This was broken. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make this on me. If it was on the workbench, it's two. If it's on me, it's four per. So it's actually a little bit of a waste, but hey. Okay, so we're gonna craft that in the background. So while that is crafting, I can technically place the wooden frames and then upgrade them so long. Because both of these have Place wood frames 100, upgrade wood frames 100. Same with this one. Place wood frames, upgrade wood frames. So as soon as I've done the wood frames, this quest automatically completes. And then this one, I just need to place the flagstone as well. Now I might just place the flagstone at the bottom and the wood on top. So the bottom row is a, a lot tougher than the rest of the rows. Even if it's just the second level. So first level wood, second level cobble. And then the cobble, we need to see if we can uh, upgrade that to, or the flagstone upgrade to cobble. Yeah, I'm just going to do that off camera and then find you guys back in the morning as we do some looting and see if we can find a town. There should be a town in the area. We actually passed one on the way here. Uh, the quest we need to go do is where? I think it's towards it. No, it's not. It's towards a different uh, location. There's a town over here and now it seems there's a town over there. Or it might just be a standalone POI. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? If you guys played this map before, you know where what is. Comment that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.